No, I, I, I got it on DVD. Okay. I didn't want to. I was like, because mm, everything else I had at that point for the Texas Chainsaw series, if I, again, I buy my physical media depending. If I've upgraded to DVD or 4K, then I'll, I'll get it in the same format. Mm-hmm. But I hadn't upgraded my Texas Chainsaw series to Blu-ray at that moment, so I just kept the DVD because I cannot stand going from standard death to high death to standard death. Mm-hmm. Fucks with my eyes. That being said, so yeah, I, I waited for it to come out mm-hmm. on um, DVD. I was... I wasn't too... Oh, we're talking 3D. Texas Chain 3D no. from Texas 2013. Chain, yeah, yeah okay. Texas Chain 3D. We're segmenting to that now. I wasn't too sure about it. Um, I was cool with it. It, it was... um Again, because I'm not comparing it to what came before and after. It's its own movie. Right. It's um, a sequel. I, I thought it was... Uh, here's what I, I will say. I really loved the first 20 minutes. Yes. I thought that was brilliant. And I... And, I wish they would have continued down that path because uh-huh. they nailed it. Yes. So when, when the families are coming out to the soldiers. Yeah. Yes. They, Connor, and then, Connor, Connor, and then uh, Bill Mosley playing. Kind of reminds me of my, yeah. my, my, the, his movie Kills, man. The, the, the flashback here, they had to feel. <laughs> here's the thing. It totally right. does. Right, the right. production nailed it because they replicated the house perfectly. They it did. felt like it. It, it felt it, it, like it, did. it belonged it, there. It did. They nailed it. And then it went off on its own thing. And it was it was a standard slasher film. And I love Even slasher. Leatherface. He looked like Leatherface he from did. 74. He did. And it just... It was a fun movie. Um, and I like how they even put... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no. But they, they even put Mosley when they're at the dinner table. Yeah. Just to give it... So to, so if you were to watch it, it blends in it was, just perfectly. It, 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 like it, a nice it, little fade. And that's that. what they did it so well. It's like, I wish you would have kept in that moment and it expanded upon what happened immediately afterwards because then it cuts over to... Yeah, like and it, the time frame, the technology does yes. not match up with the time frame. Like, the movie's off by 20 fucking years. Right. That right. should have taken place. That should have been taking place either in the eight, late late eighties or early nineties. So, well, no, you're, so, you're uh, on to something. It really should have just picked up like what happened, you know, a couple hours later. You know, like yes, right. they were you know, on the, it. The investigation, was, the standoff right. with the family. Right. Um, it was there, and then I it was like because beyond that, it, it, it's a terrible movie. It really, I is, like man. it. I, I mean, enjoy it. I, I, I like <laughs> it, but here's, the, but here's the thing, Corey. I like it as a slasher movie. I didn't put. I don't. I didn't hold it up to anything <laughs> else. Um, and here's what it is. I so I went in there with zero expectations, and after. You know, getting blue balls from the first 20 minutes, watching it play out afterwards, because I've read the reviews and what people found wrong with it. Yeah, because you told me it was dog shit, so I stayed away for years. It, it was, but then when I saw it, I was like, you know, it wasn't that bad. Like, it's, I wouldn't, and it just felt like with, it was a standard, I love slasher movies. It right. felt, I liked the slasher aspect of it, and again, I wasn't holding it to anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, it worked. I like, I like the kids in it. Mm. Um, I kind of like the sympathetic Leatherface. I'm not, and again, I'm not, I look at it. As an alternative universe version of right. Texas Chainsaw, I'm not looking at it as like the original stuff. So right. I think because of that, and I had zero expectations. Sometimes, like you said, right. when you go in there with something zero expectations, you end up being a little bit more open to something that's you exactly. would normally not be open to. And so I was cool with it. Like I had no problem with it. Um, okay, so let me jump in real quick. <clears throat> like you said, I love the Bill Mosley playing. Uh, that was dope. Drayton or. But uh, you know why he did it though? He, they were, that's his friends. They were actually yeah. friends, and he felt like. He was the best, to and, do I it. and he did it. And he did it with honor he, because oh, I get chills. I got chills. If you see, I, I, I have chills. To him playing, like it. he did it right. Like he did. Gunnar Hansen cameo. That was dope, by yeah. the way. He, he you know, and playing then, as one of the one right. Of the, remi- the opening remind me of Devil's Rejects with the shootout with the cops. I was cool with that. Like you said, it was blue balls because I wanted them to just explore that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying there was so much things they could explore. I think, and I wonder if it's because then, of, for, for uh, in terms of money, they just didn't have the, the, enough maybe. money to. Really go there, or was it just not in the the plan from the so foresight? Now, in the um, when they stay, they you see Verna's uh, tombstone. It says 2012. So the movie's supposed to take place in 2012, and like they, you know, and so that would have made uh, Heather's character. That's the main character, and she's super fine in that. But anyway, so Heather's character would have been 38, and I've seen some amazing looking 38 year olds. But in none my of them look like they're. But in- none look like she's. Yeah. Um, so the, I, they, I wasn't even our friends. No, thirty-eight year old would be hanging around with kids that young. Right, right. So uh, Trey Song, she was fine. He didn't overact. He didn't over. Yeah, you know, actually, was I was good. surprised. Like I was, I was um, okay. With I didn't it. know he was Trey Songs until you told me. I was like, oh shit, that is Trey Songs. Um, the Latina friend, she was sexy. She was good. She Tanya wasn't. Raymond. She wasn't annoying. Um, the the cook was cool. They picked up the guy, the hitchhiker who's fine, and I was like, oh god, here we go with the hitchhiker again. And I'm thinking Vigo and you know that type of shit. But it, it swerved us, and he was robbing him, and then he ended up getting got with Leatherface. And I wasn't mad at this Leatherface because he looked dope with his his, his Verna's sweater on, his Christmas sweater, and like he it, it was cool. I I, I dug yeah. it. And 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 then when he's chasing them in the house, when they come across him in the house, and it becomes. 
a horror movie. But then all of a sudden, you realize who the real bad guys are, and it becomes an anti-hero movie. And that's where it kind of lost me. And then it has the worst line in the whole franchise. Do your thing, cuz. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, that, that, that was cringeworthy. That was cringeworthy. Started, that was cringe had she worthy. started crip walking right after, then I would have been a little bit more sympathetic. I would have been with it. But no, she did not. And it was just awful. Having said that, though, we talked about this earlier. I think Leatherface would be the only villain probably that you can kind of buy right. the humanity because of how he just cowers down to his family. Yes. Yes. But absolutely. it was a cringy line. I'll give you that. It was oh, absolutely. And um, but I, I, you know, I enjoy it. it, it it's an easy watch. It doesn't overstay its right. welcome. Yep. And it, 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 it's it a flows. Sense of fun. It's, it's a sense of fun. It's just a fun little something, you know what I'm saying? Right, and right. I, I, I'm mad at it. He ready to jump in like double dutch, I can tell. <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, good. I, I'm good. Go ahead, you got, you got the floor, my friend. Yeah, it's all you. It's all you. Um, now, why do you hate it? Didn't like it. It, it, it. I just saw it just a few weeks ago and. um Netflix. Yeah, on Netflix. Did you have zero expectations or did you Yeah, have... I had zero expectations. I mean, because I. I when I, you know, when I saw the trailer, I mean, I remember when it came out in 2013, it got bad reviews. And, yep. and I kind of felt like, yeah, no, this, this franchise might be kind of done. <laughs> um, you know, uh, yeah. it's bad. I mean, and, and, and it's exactly the reason you said that complete 180 when she, one minute she's scared of them, next thing you know, their they're buddies are taking, right. they're taking and he's down. And putting the, chalk, they're, the they're, saw like it's his dick on her shoulder. I'm like, come on, bro. Well, they're t- you know, they're, they got to take down the, the, the bankers and the investors that were taking. I was like, this, no, yeah. this just does, this, this is, this is goofy. And, and, um, the characters are kind of cliched. I mean, once again, we got the cheating boyfriend. Right. I mean, it's like, how many times have we seen right. this? Yeah, right. You know, and, this, and Halloween was guilty of it, too. Halloween 2018 is guilty right. of it. And, you know, um, you know, and, and that's that's something I, I liked about Scream, you know. Um, if you guys, you know, get girl talking about that, you know, I don't want to jump yeah, into the subject. Yeah, we're going to Scream another day, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, um, you know, the fact that, you know, Maureen Prescott did all this. And, I mean, you rarely see women putting that, you know, it's like, because anybody can cheat in a relationship, right. not just men. Right. You know, I, I just feel like you know it's kind of nice to shift that on a, the female right. character every so often, but you know, th- it just wasn't a good movie, man. Um, I didn't like the way you know Leatherface, he, the way he looked too, and um, th- they picked up the hitchhiker that was stupid. Nobody would leave. I mean, you just met this guy, right? And then you're gonna leave him at the house. He's gonna, leave, he's gonna cook dinner for you. I mean, come on, you can see that coming a mile away. Oh, I totally agree. And, you know, it just like, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like the, in, in the 2003 remake, and even the prequel in 2006. They didn't really make those dumb mistakes, right. and that was set in the '70s, where right. it was probably right. a little bit more acceptable. You know, you you probably more you, you probably more have to take people you know at face value back right. then. But this movie was set in present day. You know, well right. into the 21st century. You know, and yeah, here's you know, 60 bucks for gas. Yeah, you know, we're we're, we're we're a bit more cynical. You know, right. and to leave him in a house, just 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 yeah, it just. I got no more to say. It was really bad. I'm glad I saw it for free on Netflix. <laughs> Didn't have to pay any money to see it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and as bad as that film is, it's going to get worse. So, okay. It seems like there's always that one movie takes a change of where one of us is really fucking despised. What do you think about it, Iron Mike? Yeah, that's pretty much my sentiments. It was um, overdone, well done, been done. You know, you kind of went through the whole thing with with the annoying. I didn't like the characters too much. They were kind of. Yeah, annoying. The cheating, like yeah, you yes, about. like we've seen that so many. Well, they were both. It was a girl and a guy. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And I mean, I didn't mean to focus on just oh, boyfriend, yeah, yeah. but yeah. but you know, it's typically always a guy. They, they try right. to say, but the girlfriend too. But once again, it's just the final girl. You know, she 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 thinks she has a really loving boyfriend, right, right. And, and it's just like. Yeah. Well, yeah, at least yeah, Trey yeah. Songz didn't do a spin kick. That's well, all I got. Trey say. Songz used his own song in the, in the <laughs> yeah. Game. First of all, yeah. Trey Songz is no Busta Bus. <laughs> no, he's definitely not. Shout out Busta Bus. Shout out Freddie. Resurrection. <laughs> no, but you know, it was Danger it entertainment. ranks pretty low. It ranks yeah. pretty low on my list, man. Um it uh, man, what else could I say about it? Oh, the hitchhiker thing. That's another great point, man. It was like, why would you pick this cat up right. in the rain? And he has his shirt on oh, halfway fam- open. Wait, on the way to a place to a family you never met or right. knew you even a know, you know, right. business of. family business shit. You didn't even know you were a part of this yeah. this family, and I just thought that was not it's, logical. And, and the fact that she did the 180, now she's accessory to murder. She, she's controlled. Right. right. You know, uh, and the sheriff just let it slide. You know, yeah, it, it just... Not logical. And, and the sheriff, he was kind of a cool, interesting character. Because right. you know, he really was trying to do some good. Clint Eastwood. Texas that. Justice. No, 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 no. That was the... Um, the, uh, the deputy. That was the deputy, deputy. Right. yeah. Was that Clint? One of the Clint's yeah, sons? Yeah, yeah Scott, son. Scott Eastwood. Oh, that was Scott Eastwood? Yeah, he was a scumbag. That's right, that's right. Well, he was one that he threw the chainsaw out of him. He ducked at the carnival. Was that... I don't know. Yes. That was yes. a great kill. I like that kill. No, but he didn't get killed. He oh. ducked. He ducked. It was just oh, a, you're right. You're right. That was the that was the Friday the Thirteenth Part Three yo yo's. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Three D camera. So they was like, yeah, you know, got to do something with it. Yeah, that was whack. Yeah, I liked his look. I wasn't mad at his look. I thought he had good gear. I liked the the Christmas sweater, kind of like Karen in Halloween. 
It's Halloween and Karen's rocking. You're not going to convince him. Let it go. All right. I'm just saying. So, yeah, the, as far as horror prequels, I think one of the stronger ones is Leatherface from 2017. It gets shitted on a lot. And, it's, um, and it doesn't deserve it. It's, it's actually unjust. really good. I mean, my wife's not a big horror fan at all. And we watched it last night, and she dug it. It's, the reason why I like it so much, and the, my top five of the Texas Chains, not to jump ahead, they're all different. Even though they're all in the you know, Texas Chainsaw, and, right. you know, but they're all different feels. And this one had a different feel. Um, it, it, it was true to the characters from um, the 1974, because you see Drayton, or what is it? Yeah. Drayton? You see Drayton Young. Okay. Um, you see Nubbins of it later on, <laughs> um, and you th- and it has a nice little Nubbins. swerve. I don't, I don't know if you want to, but I, you know um, we're gonna spoilers. Oh, okay, okay. So um, you see a character, and I, when I first watched it in 2017, I thought the skinny character, and then you see a, a, a fatter character, and the way they're acting, I'm thinking one is gonna be the uh, the, other. the hitchhiker, right, and one's gonna be Leatherface. And they're um, Stephen Dorff. Um, they uh, dude. So Stephen Dorff uh, has a vendetta against the Sawyers, and he takes their kids from Verna Sawyer, who's played by um, Lily Tyler. Dude, and the acting between Stephen Dorff and Lily Tyler is excellent. Like acting wise, I think this is the strongest in the franchise. Like even with Vigo and Matthew McConaughey and Dennis Hopper, I I don't know. I'm just. A big I think Stephen in terms Dorf of fan. in terms of dramatic acting, I would agree back with you. For, yeah, the back and forth. She's just so good. Bert. Not not like not like horror act, not like terror acting, but in terms of just dramatic acting. Right. You know what I mean? Strong characters yeah. who are fighting for something. Right. I agree with you 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. So Ver, um so Verna uh is the mother and actually she has a uh, Burns Marilyn Burns his last uh cameo or last hmm. time you see her and is actually in texas chain 3d uh she's the old lady writing the letter to heather okay all right. Marilyn Burns. so anyway but anyway so verna plays the young version of that and she's the patriarch so this is the prequel to the 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 texas chain 3d so it's like leatherface texas chain 1974 and then Texas Chain 3D. So these and are Hewitts then, right? No, yeah. these no, are, no, these no, are, no, are Sawyers. 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 The original, the original crew is the Sawyers. Yeah. Okay. The Platinum Dunes family is the Hewitts. Yeah, gotcha. So even Vito agreed. He said watching Leatherface made him like the Texas 3D. It raised the stock, and it raised the stock, and I'm not saying it raised it a whole lot, but because I was cool with the 3D one, but it raised it up enough to where I felt like two unique bookends right. to the original okay, so, movie. So, it kinda, so there's a so swerve. It, it kinda, it's it's kind of like the Clone Wars animated series. Yes. Where it raises the stock for the people. <laughs> absolutely. No, absolutely. <laughs> and right. I'm not even, yeah, seriously. Um, and then not only that, um, Stephen Dorff is just a son of a bitch in it. He's, he plays the, the corrupt sheriff. Um, but he then, played it so passionately. So, so passionately because they, they killed his daughter. Yeah. So he you, had under, a, you understand his He beef. had a reason, yeah. He had a beef. The yeah. layer there for him, yeah. for his fight to kill. So um, the... <laughs> You know, and I'm sorry about the spoiler killing, but you, you, the, the fat kid gets killed, the one that you think is going to be Leatherface. Right. And then you find out that the kid and um, uh, that you thought was the hitchhiker is actually Jed, Jebediah Sawyer, and he becomes Leatherface because he gets shot in the face and his face splits open. It was also kind of heartbreaking to see him as a kid. They yeah. wanted him to kill, and he was like, Remember, he didn't, yeah, didn't, didn't want to do it, you know. Yeah. Was, what, what, was, it, was he still mentally challenged? No, 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 no. But no, what it does, not. it shows you that this. But you see how he gets. He uh, gets broken. He gets like yeah. eventually. Yeah. Like it shows you, you're not born this way. Your create you, your environment creates you, and he's. There were hints of what he's going to become sure. early in the film when he was hiding underneath the pig with the pig head. Right. Yeah. Like he was, he was already on that path. Right. And then when he they took him away, you can sense there was some mental healing right. in there, and then just explosion. But again, yes. I mean, I take some points away for uh, the bad guy and his girlfriend holding the three of them hostage on a on walking. Yeah, the, the, that ain't the, gonna happen. Yeah, uh, I I didn't believe you it. You can overpower that, ca- that right, guy, right? Especially know? Uh, eventually, Bud, who we right. assume at the time. Yeah, but it felt like they were but, curb stomps, dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? That could have been done two scenes back. But it felt like they were kind of hanging together anyway, where they were at. Like they had a little bit of a bond, especially right. with Bud. And that dude, because they were both to get the, about to get lobotomized, and you, so you kind of feel be. That, right. that commodity, like you're in there with you, and right. you, you have no one else, so you work with what you got. Right. Yeah. When Dorf shoots her in the head, though. No, Dorf was the son of a bitch. Yeah. In that movie, bro. Right. Yeah. But justified though. Justified. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That movie I was telling Spawn earlier, it felt like, and I could be wrong, but I don't think that movie had a big budget. But it felt like they were very smart with the budget, right? And they maximized every every penny. minute. Every minute gets maximized. Right. Let me ask you guys a question. 
if uh, Stephen Dorff's character locked horns with Sheriff Hoyt, who'd win? Dorf. No doubt. Dorf all day, I would think. I would say... At those eight. 03, now, 03, 03, 03, Hoyt may have gotten the advantage. No. Nah. Really? Okay. Nah. Only if it's verbally. Or verbally, you know, I got Hoyt. But if yeah. in, like, badassery, I go uh, with this dude. Because he'll... I, I, I think it's a close. I think it would have been close because 03, Hoyt, Hoyt was just... Fucking gnarly, dude. Yeah, but I don't know. Okay. I, I go this maybe, way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe Dorf, because because you know, he, here's the thing about Dorf. He wasn't about much lift service. He nope. he was quick with the action. He actions. was bucking, bro. Hoyt would, would bully you, but Dorf's character was, he was on a mission. Yep. He, he already knew you were going to be dead anyway. Yep. He just wanted to let you know what was going to happen. Yep. And then when he had no longer, when he no longer needed you, you have done. any use? Boom. Yep. yep. Okay. So let's move on to the final one, and I wanted to, I wanted to get to this, and I, this is the Netflix one that came out, right? So I know you've been chomping at the bit over there, Corey. Woo! Um, let's, get, let's get in this one. I, I will admit, the first day I saw it, right, I was shitting on it. Me too. Remember but we talked. It changed literally that week. Yeah. I started watching that it weekend. again and again and again. So uh, let me hear your thoughts, Corey, on the new one. It's all about character, okay? And you guys even said it yourselves in all the previous ones you mentioned. Sally Hardesty was broken. She was a broken woman at the end of the original. They even re-emphasized that in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. She sunk into a state state of Catatonia. I didn't even know until you told me. In 3, they show her messed up. Yeah. So how in the world does she come back and become John Wick? Right. I mean, we know why. Because of a certain other horror movie franchise where, you know, they turned the the final girl into a super soldier. Right. And, 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 it, it doesn't work. It L- just doesn't work. Laurie was catatonic at one point. Laurie, Laurie, yeah, but Laurie, Laurie Stroh was a much different character. I mean, Laurie Stroh was a fighter even even when the original Halloween, when you when you saw her, I mean, okay. she made a clothesline, jabbed my boy in the eye, That's and hit him with a knife and stuff like that. And, you know, you, you have a lot more to work with Laurie Strode also. You know, going from Halloween 2 and then age 20 and stuff, even though David Gordon Green kind of, you know. And Resurrection. You know, er, Shout out Resurrection. Okay, he, he, he set the little mouse. Danger trap Entertainment. <laughs> she said she set the little mouse trap for Michael. <laughs> uh, but this this movie, it's like when I saw the trailer, and, and I mean, I've been waiting forty years. Like, no, it, it, no, come on. They no. don't do that now, right? You know what I mean? You know, and, and then on top of that, here's another thing too, which is interesting, because um, you say you guys the next the next the next one you guys are going to do a scream. Uh, the, th- the interesting thing about it's funny too you pick those back to back you know to do those one after another but the interesting thing about Scream and, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre is that all these franchises they're the two that are the most grounded right. in, in, in reality very great um, point and even even the villains both have a similar name Ghostface Leatherface great point um, so it's 2012 and Sally Harsey in 74 was probably 2030 now she's this woman's got to be, she looked like she was every bit in pushing 80. And, and, and that's the case, Leatherface has got to be in his 80s or 90s. Well, why would he, he wouldn't even have the physical strength to 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 do what he did in, in, in this new movie. It, it, it just, I watched Never it. underestimate old man strength. Exactly. My grandpa, yo, before he got yes. real sick, yo, I, mean, I used to try to I, wrestle I, with him I, and he'd be I, giving I, me the arm bar. I'm shit. not down there. My grandfather, remember I came home from the Navy, I forget my first or second year, you know, I'm young, I'm doing push-ups and stuff. And my grandfather, like in his 60s, and he's buff machine, I... Shook hands, he yanked me over the dinner table, man. Right, you right. know, so I, I know I get that, but this, this, this movie just was just, just was just fell apart. Um, the, 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 the kids. I mean, I, I thought the girl was cute with the curly hair. I thought she was really cute. Um, are we, are we allowed to say spoilers? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you say spoilers? We, yeah. We, yeah. We, I just want to, make, I, you know, for people who haven't seen it, for people who haven't seen this yet, spoilers. You might want to tune out right now. Um, give you a couple seconds. Five, four. Three, two, one. Fuck him, let him have it now. The girl with the curly hair, you know, she you know, she gets beheaded at the end by Leatherface and I Super I, dope scene. And I was kinda of, yeah, it was it was it was it was fun. It was yeah. but, but but you know, I you know, I kinda liked her. She was she was cute. But uh, overall I, I just these are once again plug in characters. I mean they, they don't have the you know, the, 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 the interesting aspect, you know, they don't have the personality of the screen characters or, or even Laurie Strode or, you know, right. the, those characters. It's just these are just disposable characters. Right. And then, then they try to be meta like Scream, you know. Do will cancel you, and, it, it just, and no one says that. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just like it's like they were trying to be cool. You know, you can't you can't make cool happen. It has to happen naturally. You know, it's just cool is something that when all the chips fall in the place, the fates <clears throat> the fates are in your favor, and that's when the cool something cool something really neat happens. Sure. Right. They were trying to like you know almost like like the people try to to, to create a quibby. <laughs> you know that thing came and went, but this movie just I think it's 
it's it's a toss up, but um, I, between this one and uh, the the 3D one, it's one of the worst. You well, know, Corey, I was gonna jump in there late and say, you know, so with the 22, the 2022 version, it's actually a requel to the original 1974. I know you mentioned what they said about her being kind of tonic and other two, three, and four, and everything else. Nothing exists. Nothing exists. It only connects to 74. So like, okay, but but even but, it, okay, but I'll go to that. But even with 74. You can look at the end of the movie. She would never come back to that. Look at her at the end of the movie. Yeah. I mean, she was out of her mind to beg that pickup truck. I mean, look at it again. Why a lot could Sally, it, a lot Sally happen, Hardesty though. would never, ever come back to that. Yeah. And that's why I can't buy this movie. You know, I, it's like, no, she would never come back to that scene. Right. She would get away from far, get as far away from that as possible. Now, I could see Stretch in that role come back. Yes, I would agree. Stretch was not having it. But Stretch doesn't exist in this universe. Though. Right. I don't know. No, I'm just saying. Well, like, yeah, I if you wanted to bring somebody back in that particular role in this franchise, the only one I could see come back would be Stretch. Okay. I mean, if you, if you remember, she was, yo, I'm telling you, she was dropping bows on fucking Chop Tot on the stairs and she, boom, fucked them up. But here's the thing. I think the point is though, this movie, I really do feel this movie was a product of Halloween 2018. Oh, of course oh, it is. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. And, 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 and it's like, it's trying to, they're aping Laurie Strode. And that works for Laurie Strode. Does so, not work for Laurie Strode, but it, again. Well, it, <laughs> it, works, it, works, better, it, works, it works, works better for Laurie Strode and Sally Harsley because we have a history of Laurie Strode. Yes. We've seen right. Laurie Strode in, in, in different, different um, iterations. In, in iterations. Yes, yes. It's only really been kind of two iterations, but still, it works better with that character than it does Sally Harsley. Right, Sally absolutely. Harsley, how does Sally Hardesty is a one and done character? She Absolutely. really is. Absolutely. You know, she doesn't have the legacy of Laurie Strode. Yep. So that's why Halloween Halloween 2018 works. And let's face it, Halloween's a bigger brand name. A, a, a bigger, oh, what's what I'm looking for? Um, a bigger brand. It is. A bigger no, marquee. It, 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 it is. Texas. Michael Myers is more marquee than. Leverage. Michael Myers yes. is more pop culture at this point. But I will say this, though, about 2022. I kind of, okay, and I think I made this example before, yes. too. I love The Dark Knight Returns by. Um, Help me out here, eat Nolan, uh, Christopher Nolan. No, 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 no. The comic book writer. Um, Frank, oh, Frank Miller. Frank Miller. So I love the fact that we can't change who we are. We come back as an older person. Mm -hmm. So I love the second chance of Leatherface being that again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the older, you can't leave, change who you are. Right. I'm not I, asking to change. I just don't feel like. Well, no, he I was getting around like a young man in his twenties. I'm like Leatherface has got no, to be. No, but, 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 but watch it again. He, I was watching because who was. I was sure if my boy at the barbershop was saying, yo, so I didn't mean to cut you off. You yeah, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. No, we do that. He's got mad cardio. Yeah. yeah. He always has. You know? He always has. I mean, he's right. Jesse Owens in all these shits. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, like, if, you if you're making a comparison to The Dark Knight. But he's also, like, kind of limping, older, and, and, uh, but, 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 and tired. But, okay, but you, you made a comparison to Frank Miller's Dark Knight. I'm a big comic book fan. Batman's my second favorite character. You got to understand who Batman is. This is a man who's always stayed in peak physical condition. The greatest athlete on the planet. So I could see Batman. Well, remember, he was drinking for 10 years, though. He wasn't really drinking, but he was he was faking it. But <laughs> that, I could see Batman doing what he does at age 60. Because, and even even then, even in Dark Knight, they acknowledge that he can't do what he did when he's a younger man. Oh, no doubt. But I still like the book where he, he's like, there was a time I didn't need my legs to climb a rope. So even Batman, even age catches up with Batman. Right. But Leatherface, if you look at the original, he's a fat slob in the original. I mean, they, they eat meat. Okay, eat, all they do is eat red meat. That right. catches up with you eventually. Right. Oh, it does, but you can't. So he should have had diabetes for Leatherface. Well, but what I'm saying, <laughs> but I guess my point is this. So I just like. He should have sawed his own leg off. <laughs> I just, I'm doing what I'm saying. You know, I just like the fact that things that we liked as kids still come back. I thought that was still cool to see. You know, again, a, a second version of Old Man Leatherface. Mm -hmm. um, I did enjoy the meta aspects of it because, again, and this is, goes back to Halloween Kills. It goes back to the new Star Wars trilogy. I'm okay with them speaking to Generation Z and Millennials. I get it because you need the younger generations to keep following things up. Just like we did our part in the 80s and 90s and 2000s. I, I get it. It's for that type of audience. And it's I'm okay with kind of size and be like, you know what? I kind of need you guys. To, I need to relate to you guys so you guys can pump money into this franchise so we can keep getting it. Because every generation, you need that revenue. You need that connection to help funding products so we can keep getting them. And, and I know you. I know you, a lot of people may not care for it and because we're all the same generation. Like I know you had an issue with how they were acting, and I get it, but it wasn't speaking to our generation. It was speaking uh, well, to I, I think that this one had the... Generation Z and the Millennials versus instead of uh, uh, what you're saying. I, I, okay, it felt I can like see it that. was more like a versus than like, like you know, enough and we're going to just cut through it. The, hence the bend of the bus scene. Go ahead. I disagree with you, Vito. I, I think by putting in these like these meta things, I think in a way you're kind of talking down to the generation and, and like they know, okay, they know, they know. Making fun. Yeah, it, it's like they, they, they see this. It's like 
this isn't funny, you know, it's like, yeah, okay, the, the that's cancel. not, you know, the whole cancel culture, we, we get that. Instead of just really writing a good story, writing some interesting characters, nothing trumps interesting characters. Yes. Nothing trumps good acting. Absolutely. Nothing trumps a well-written story. Okay, you, you can put in all the meta tricks you want to. It, it doesn't work. Oh, agreed. And, but and, I thought, and I, and I think the generations he hated the movies. I mean, the younger generations, I don't think they're going to dig this movie. You know, you don't really have to be you know a specific age group. Right. I mean, look, someone's always going to like something. Yes. That, that you know, there's I mean, there's people out there that like Batman and Robin. You know, there's a very small pool of them. Chill, chill out. You know, but <laughs> this 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 film, you know, I, I think you know they 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 saw what worked for Halloween. They want to jump on a bandwagon. And that's nothing new. I mean. Horror, you know, as a genre, they, they, they're always chasing trends. I mean, right. you know, when Scream came out, I'm sorry, sorry, you going back to Scream. You know, after Scream came out, we started getting the, the meta film. Summer, or, or, last yes. summer, um, urban, urban, urban legend, legend. You know, so sorry, sorry. Um, so, and those I, are great get, in their I, own right. I, I get it, but this, this movie just was so hackney eyed. Um, the, the, the characters were not interesting. They they could have been interesting. All right. Um, yeah, I, yeah. No, it, was, I agree. it wasn't a it wasn't a believable premise that these kids are going to buy this town. Yeah, it right. was absurd. You know what I mean? That they're going to go in there. So, and they had the money to, to buy. I, yeah. Who was going to go there when they did buy it? Right, and then, way and out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Right, right. You know, seven you hours talk, away. You, right. talk, hours you away. talk about overpowering how they, they could overpower Hui. He had a whole bus full of people, man. This sure. old, I mean, someone could have nah. got, got him down. He got a, he got a chainsaw. Who's going to get out of him? He, he maybe got one or two people, but some day eventually would have got yeah. him, got that chainsaw off his hand. But we have to understand, though, these movies are a bit of fantasy, and if we had reality fully set in, we wouldn't have a movie. you got to kind of have a little bit of that magic, little, that. a little bit of that oh. kind of just fantasy element so we can root for that because, again, too, we don't root oh, for oh, Michael oh. Myers or Jason okay. Voorhees or Leatherface because they're like us. They're, they're like, like you said, like comic book heroes, except for they're the villain, so... They're doing things we can never do, and so you right. kind of have to accept that. And I, and I right. agree with you. In so any other me, reality case, you're after in, in the real world, he would have been overpowered. Right. But I don't want an underpowered reality-based Leatherface. I want something that so I can still root for. I want something that's you know a right. little bit of fantasy because that's why I'm watching this movie. Well, you know? yeah, so I loved it. I hated it at first, right? And well, I mean, I didn't hate it. I no, you hated it. it. Last no, no, off. I shitted on the the characters and the bad. Decision you shitted making. on everything when you talked to me about it. <laughs> no, I shitted on the bad char- the the bad characters that I don't like, which I have a bad problem. If you look at the Halloweens and you look at the Fridays when we discuss it and we break down the franchises, unlikable characters are disposable and garbage, like he said. So I hated the characters, I hated the the dialogue, and I hated the bad decisions. Oh, I'm gonna go with the the this, uh, the, the lady had a heart attack. I'm gonna go with them. But what I loved was the the, the carnage. The blood. He breaks dude's arm, stabs him in the neck with his arm oh, ball. I'll give you that. Um, this that is was the first time. Yeah. This is the first time that we've ever seen Leatherface with his own motivation. Yep. So this is the first time that Leatherface is pissed off, and I'm gonna take it out on y'all. Y'all killed this woman that took care of me after my family was abandoned, and my brother died, and blah blah blah. So uh, y'all, uh, y'all, I lost something, and y'all, I'm gonna take it out on y'all. And he he's killing him. He's after the old girl. And, and I he, just thought he was excellent. I thought this version of Leatherface was dope, and the and the way it was filmed when he pops up out of the sunflowers. Oh, that, that was so dope. surreal. That was dope, dude. There was only one weak kill, so all of a sudden he kills the um, he kills the uh, uh, sheriff with like a log that he somehow finds. Mm. But then he stabs the chick in the stomach with like a it looks like a paper cut on her gut. But other than that, the kills were dope. Like he, when he, when when uh, Dante's face is split right open, I, I from that point on the movie oh, jumps brutal. up. Because the movie was, I was on the fence with it. And I was hating on. It, I was texting y'all, but when you turn around and you see Dante's face split, that's when the movie jumps, and that's what I, that's why it's high on my list. Mm. Hey, go, last go. thoughts. Double Let's Dutch. Do double Dutch. He's ready to jump. The bone when he broke the arm, it was neat. But then again, it wasn't. Because here's the thing: when Leatherface starts doing that, now he's up in Voorhees territory. He's up in Kruger, Michael. Now he's like, now the supernatural strength. Leatherface is not supernatural. These other guys are. I mean, they let you know pretty much from the get-go. You know, Michael Myers is more than just a man. Jason Voorhees is more than just his man. Kruger is full-blown supernatural. Oh, yeah. Leatherface has always been grounded, you know. Right. So, I mean, that's the cool thing about Leatherface and Ghostface. With enough moxie and luck, you can actually beat these guys. Right. Yep. You know, or girl. Cause that's a good point. Screen face, screen, screw, I mean, Ghostface can be anybody. Right. Yes. You can, they can be defeated. You go, when you, when you start getting to Myers, Voorhees, and these guys are... They're like the Captain Americas, the Thors, and you right. know the, these guys. You know, and then the they, leather faces they, and ghost faces they, they, are like Punisher and Daredevil. Yeah, he's gonna say that. I mean, but you know, it's like he's he's gotten too superhuman now. Uh, you know, like I said, the way the way and stuff he was just the punishment he was taking. I mean, what made the original movie so cool, especially I go I go back to the '74. 
Uh, and, and, and even in the part two, you know, he can be hurt. And, 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 he, he, and he's kind of dumb, too. That's yeah. what I liked about the, uh, well, see, the, the, so, the 74. Like, yeah. when, he, when he threw, you hit him with a wrench and he drops a chainsaw. I was like, yeah. ah! And yeah. he, but, you he know, somebody's limping. And, and, yeah. and, and I like what Corey, and I agree with everything with what Corey's saying. And I think it's because, and you brought up a good point. Like Captain America, the Thor's and all that, right? And I think another face. And, because, I'm, I'm, level, and I'm, not, I'm not always about grounding things because I love fantasy. Oh, oh, no doubt. But, but I, I feel like this is this was the whole point of Leatherface because remember he's loosely based on Ed Gein, right? Yes. He was a real killer, right? Yep. Okay, and you know, so it's like he's never been like these other characters, right? But, but you brought up a good point though, and I was gonna say I think is the comic book element is what I like because again, I love watching. I, I'm a big comic book fan. I love the Marvel films. I love the DC films. So maybe that's why I was able to digest one easier and accept it because it was, and I agree with you, you're right. It was comic book based the way he was taking it. And it maybe, and it was shot so well, in my opinion, I was good with that because in your absolute I didn't think about that. It is very comic book like, and I, and I think I was okay with a comic book like esque Texas Chainsaw. I never had that before. And so maybe that's why I'm cool with it because one, it's a one and done, right. hopefully. Well, no. At the end, there's a post credit scene where he shows up at the the house from 1970. Oh, you're right. You're right. But I would but, be I would be up for a comic book esque horror film with Leatherface. I guess okay. at this point, not not full on overblown Marvel. You know what right. I mean? But I agree with you. You're, you're absolutely right. He's doing things that would be physically impossible for what is a grounded character and an but, old character too. At this point, man, the guy is it's like 80. But I've had like I eight mean, movies of a grounded Leatherface, so maybe I was. I would say this. I was I was okay with it because the way it was shot, I was. It was easy it's, watch. It's it an was easy it watch, was. and it's a fun popcorn movie. And I, at this point, I don't hold it in the regard that I do of Michael Myers and and Jason and Freddy, where if they do something that really pisses me off, I'm I hate it forever. Like I well, because it's, it's, it's like we said earlier, though, resurrection. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little bit more lenient on this because it's fractured because it's always stopped right. to go di- different iterations. Exactly. So I, I guess I'm, so I was cool with this. Yeah, I, and I think that's why I'm cool with it too because I'm because it's been so. There's not been a consistent series with Texas. You right. know what I mean? You've always no, but but there's been a consistent tone. The fact that he is a grounded killer. Agree. Right. Agree. Right. You know, like like Jigsaw. So you know, like like you know, like I said, like Ghostface. Right. You know, he can be defeated. Right. Uh, you know, it's just that the, 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 what gives Leatherface the edge all the time, and and it's really to this movie's weakness in a way is that people are always on his territory, on his terms, mm-hmm. right? and that's why he's always successful. We we don't really get a Texas Chainsaw Massacre where Leatherface is not on his terms, where he's put into another environment where he's unfamiliar with. I mean, right. the original movie, he knew that whole area, so yes. you know he was going to eventually probably catch Sally, you know, anyway, anyway, yeah. you know. Yep. And the same with the, the second movie. I mean, this guy, he's grown up and he's backwood, backwood roads right. of Texas, so he knows like the back of his hand. So and, and that's always to me been his his greatest you know asset is right. that he knows the land right you know so um, the lay of the land yeah absolutely you know and, and and that's what gives him an edge but you know if you're strong enough and fight back and you're lucky and a little bit little little you know little moxie on your part yeah. you can beat Leather, elbow grease. you yeah. can beat Leatherface he can be defeated so let me give you my top nine so I'm gonna start from the bottom and then work my way up yeah. just run through it just all right yeah yeah I'm gonna run through gotta, it yeah yeah next generation. Garbage. That's the bottom of the what list. What a dick. <laughs> Leatherface, Texas Chain 3. I love it, but it just doesn't, you know, it's not, I don't know, it's just some missing on it. I, You know, it was because it was new. The gore. But, yeah. and I, But I did enjoy Texas Chain 3. The beginning, uh, the 06, I'm okay with it. It was a great film, like you said, the way it was filmed. Um, <laughs> uh, Texas Chain 3D, that line, do your thing, cuz, and no crip walking, forget about it. Um, the Netflix one is my number five. I have a lot of problems with the characters, but the gore and the carnage and the kills, just like ha- uh, Halloween Kills. It's a shit movie. Basura. You garbage. bastard. Basura, but garbage. the kills are just, I'm there for that. At this point, as a horror fan, unfortunately, that's what we all we have at this I point. I blasted me. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to go, and I just change it again. So I'm going to go Leatherface in my number four, the, the 2017. Uh, my number three, Remake which is excellent and then two Texas Chain 2 and then number 1 is the 74 V what's your in my top 10? Yeah, your top 9. Well, okay, top 9. I'm going to go with this. 74 number t- uh, 86. Um I'll be honest with you. I I have Leatherface Texas Saint Child 3 tied with the 03. I think they're both that well done. I mean, they they don't capture the magic of the first two, but they, they tie my spot at number three. For number four, I'm going to say it's a tie between Next Generation. You know, I'm going to piss you guys off with this one. 
2022. Um, and then number five, definitely another face. Threw up in 20, my mouth. Uh, 2017. <laughs> and, um, and then after that, Texas Chainsaw 3D. And, of course, at the very, very bottom, the beginning. All right, that hat. Oh, you haven't seen? Oh, no, I can knock mine out real quick. Okay. Okay. Vying for, at a tie, vying for their bottom spot at a tie is 2022 and 2013. They're both really bad movies. Mm. (laughs) They're both at the bottom of the barrel for me. And then the next bad one, in my opinion, would be uh, probably... 1990. Don't um, influence his. his, his I'm just asking. <laughs> Let the I, I man speak. I love speak. 1990, bro. Come on. You put it at the bottom. I'm gonna. You know, I'll say the 06 one, and then um, would be because um, I, I didn't have a problem with 06, but and it's been a long time since I've seen you know Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Master three, but I did like the fact that Ken Foray survived, so I'll, I'll give it props for that. Um, so I'll put that one, you know, the next one up. Uh, after that, um, let's see, did I miss anything? And then number three, here, and then these would be the top three because I didn't see Leatherface, the, the Stephen Dorff one, I didn't see the McConaughey one. So at third place would be um, the 03 remake. Uh-huh. Uh, number two is the 1986 one by, by Toby Hooper, and then of course the original by Toby Hooper is number one for me. My man, I agree with him. Yep. So, Iron Mike, what you got? I got, uh, so bottom of the barrel for me. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. It'd be those area. All right. So bottom of the barrel for me at nine. Oh. Coming in strong is uh, New Generation. Oh. That pains me, sir. <laughs> I rode with you in Resurrection. I know. I know, I know man. Uh, so eight, which I changed from seven earlier, but eight's going to be the 3D. Yeah, that, that ranks pretty low for me. Uh, seven I have, which pains me too because I like Jordana, but the beginning, you know. Uh, what do we got? Six is... Wow, that's kind of low though, but uh, TCM uh, Part Two. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you know what I made. Well, I, I did it so, this morning. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just saw it for the first time. You got so, it's like yeah, wine, my friend. You got to let it marinate. So, so yeah. a little asterisk on that. So, but I do like three better than that one. So at five, where am I? Yeah. Five, I have the Netflix one. I enjoyed that one, man. Yeah. Wow. Uh, four is Part Three. And then coming in at three is Leatherface. Leatherface was strong to me. Uh-huh. And another thing, you know. 2022. So she, she, she's all geared up like John Wick, man. Yeah. She's, got, <laughs> she's got guns out there. And then she gets sawed right in half. And then, yeah, and then well, but the, just to get right up on him, then the, the gun jams up. No, no, that was, that was the other girl. No, no, no well, it doesn't matter. I mean, she, all them guns she had on me, come on, man, really? Number two. Got rank, that old trope. <laughs> two is the Jessica Biel one, and then, of course, number one is the OG one. All right, we all in agree. Let me see your OG. chainsaw, man. What's up? I got it like a. Okay. That is the slowest chainsaw I've ever yeah, fucking I seen. The, I haven't done the battery in a long time, but my dog gets scared of it. I'm like, and then he bites at it. Hey, it doesn't Corey. do you no good when it, you shake it and it stops working, my friend. Corey, what no, figure was that that you had that you showed us? Oh, what, oh. Yeah, just you, the, if you could point it towards that camera just so we could see it later. Oh, it was just the um. I brought the had the V Blu-rays. I thought you had a figure too. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't bring a figure. Oh, you know, okay. it's funny. Um, I have um, pre-ordered the Mesco. I don't oh, know if you've yeah, heard of Mesco right. Toys. Yeah. Uh, they know they're doing a Leatherface. And um, so I got on pre-order. So I've already, I already have Jason, Michael, and Freddy. So once mm-hmm. I get, I put the whole four together, it'll be like the Justice League of Evil. <laughs> oh, that'd be dope. You know, I mean, I thought about Pennywise, but Pennywise just no. really doesn't belong to boys. I would man. put Chucky. I would throw Chucky in there. No, for, hell no. I Pennywise got to wait for Chucky. Yeah, I'll put Chucky in there. I can't fucking yeah. do I, I hated Chucky for years. I don't, I, no, really? And like you know what? I still hate Chucky. So we watch. I'm telling you, Rot's the last two. Know. Colt. We, 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 you know, anyway, I'm cool. I'm cool on Chucky. I'm cool on Chucky, man. I did like the bride and the seat of Chucky. No, those were garbage. I'm cool, y'all. y'all. Chucky to me is just riding on Freddy's coattails, <laughs> trying to miss comedy with horror, and it just yeah, just didn't work. This doesn't work, man. All right, fellas, we're gonna have to close it out All here. All right. All right. Thanks for dope. joining us. Yep. All right. Thanks everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. All right.